Hey guys, what's up? Dude Long Couch here. Welcome back to Zelda. Happy July 4th, guys. It is July 4th, the morning of, as I record this. And we are here at the beautiful Fairy Fountain because I wanted to start here and get whatever upgrades we may have available to us now after the last couple of sessions that we've played. But first, as always, we need to check out our amiibos because it is a new day. But yeah, guys, um, it's pretty cool, actually. I was up very, very late last night. I have off work today, which I'm pretty happy about. But we had some friends over last night. We were playing some Smash Brothers very late into the night, so I was up very late. I was doing a lot of shouting because that's how we play Smash Brothers. We just shout at each other over and over and over all night long, which is really fun. And um, now I'm kind of on a race with the clock trying to get this video out on time for today. I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. It may be a little late, and if so, I apologize. But it is what it is, right? Just really hoping I can... Okay, ice arrows. Sure, we'll take ice arrows. But yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to get into today, guys. We might not get a lot accomplished. I think I'm going to actually go to Akala and see if I can get one of them there. Moblin clubs to turn in for the quest at Hateno. All I'm getting are weapons that I don't need. That's all I get out of these chests anymore, guys. They're done with the clothes, I'm telling you. It's driving me nuts. Ganondorf just fell. I knocked him over with 8-bit Link. That's kind of appropriate. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, give it to me. Shock arrows. God damn it. I guess I should break these barrels, huh? What do I have? What will I break the barrels with? Hmm. <laughs> we'll use the Royal Claymore. Look at that. All four barrels, one shot. Yeah, give me that Rupees girl. Ooh, I love it. Good arrows, too. Okay. So what do we have left? Uh, Smash Brothers Link will be the final one. All the good fruits. And another Night Shield. <laughs> sure, I guess I needed them after those Guardian fights. Okay. I'll get rid of this and grab... I think this was the broadsword. That's... Okay, I just replaced it with the exact same weapon, except it's fresh. Very good. So, let's go ahead and jump in here. I think we can get... We should be able to upgrade at least one of our snow quill pieces. And maybe some ancient stuff, because I think we've picked up both sun shrooms and ancient cores. Yep. Looks like... These take five each, though. Jesus. Okay. Well, we can do one of them. We'll Ooh. do the pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Coming in for it. Link's like... Rape. That goes up to 12. And what else can we do? Yep. I'm starting to see a pattern with the upgrade requirements. These take five more as well. Five of the upgrade cores to go to level three. So, okay. Again, we'll just stick oh. with the pants, I guess. Always take care of your pants, guys. Pants are important. Okay, so here we are back at the East Akala Stable, guys. I specifically came here because I remembered that during the quest to get the blue fire over here, we found out that there were a large number of moblins over in this area. So I'm just going to go moblin farming, see if I can't find a moblin club. Now, I do know that there is a straight-up regular-ass moblin club as an item in the game. I don't know if I'll be able to find one because most of the enemies that we're fighting now are fairly high level and they have really good weapons so they're probably going to be like spiked moblin clubs and boko bat moblin clubs and fucking strength of destiny moblin clubs or whatever the high level ones are called i have no idea guys i'm really tired <laughs> i'm not really tired i'm just like i'm like fake hungover you guys know what i mean i didn't even drink last night but like i was just up so late and we partied so hard that I'm just like, uh, today. So, and my nose is a little stuffy too, because that's just my life right now. I don't know why. I don't think I'm sick. Huh? 
There's a freaking Lionel down there. Why is there a Lionel over here? What happened to the Moblins? Am I not in the right area? I should be in the spot where we got the fire from. I think it was... Maybe it's up that hill a little bit. What kind of Lionel is that? And do I want to fight him? It's a blue one. I guess we should, honestly. I mean, I've done pretty good against Lionels lately. And I know that I can take them on as long as I have my good armor on. We can chew through some weapons and whatnot. This Royal Claymore. Yeah. Okay, sure. Let's go pick a fight, guys. Get some good loot from him. Shut up, Wolf. You're ruining my element of surprise. What a dickhead. Yo, this dude has no idea I'm here, though. Okay, now he knows. I was going to try and do a sneak attack. <laughs> That was never gonna work, honestly. Okay. I know all your moves, pal. You can't surprise me anymore. Yeah, yeah. Giant fire breath. You're just gonna make it difficult for me to hit you with this big, slow sword. Because I feel like these guys are a little more mobile than the lesser versions. Like, they just don't give you a lot of windows to hit, you know? They jump around a lot, they're on the move. I'll tell you what. You wanna be like that? How about that? How's that sound? Oh, I'm trying to mount him. It won't let me, though. I wonder if you can't mount, like... ...the higher level guys. I wonder if that's a thing. We just broke a bow, so we made room for a bow that he may drop for us, at least. In the meantime, what should we use against him? I don't think we really need to bust out our best bows right now, honestly. Okay! See, he only did a quarter heart damage, though. My armor's OP. Yes! Oh, there it was! There it was, and I missed it, guys. I swear to God, I was jamming the button. I just didn't line up correctly, I guess. So, I guess that works because I, I shot him in the head. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I knew I was going to take damage there. <laughs> Look at this wolf. He's like, I want in on this fight. Guys, can I play too? I promise I'm good enough. What you're not, though, is the thing. Strength and Lazlo Bow is about to be done, too. I feel like I haven't really used this all that much. I don't know why it's so busted already. <laughs> it's really hard to see if your shots are landing or not when your bow breaks. I kind of don't like that effect. It's just really distracting. One uh, fun thing that I did find out very recently, guys, apparently when you're mounted on the back of a Lionel and you're just whacking away with your weapon, that doesn't take weapon durability. And I learned this because I was reading about the, uh, I think it's called Master Mode, which is the harder difficulty level that was added in the recent DLC. And in that mode, apparently, like, there's a lot... I don't know if there's more enemies, but the enemy levels are all just, like, knocked up at least one level. And, actually, I think there are more enemies in general, because apparently there's a Lionel on the Great Plateau. Like, the beginning of the game, before you even start... <laughs> before you get off the Plateau. Um, there's a Lionel you can find on the Great Plateau, and go fighting him. And, apparently, the way... Like, the only way people have found to beat him is to continuously mount him and then just beat on him from, you know, from his back because it doesn't take weapon durability. If you don't do that, apparently it's, like, insanely hard to actually kill him because your weapons, you know, run out before you can do enough damage. <laughs> Which sounds like a lot of fun, but that's not something that I am personally ready for yet. <laughs> okay, this is bad. And, no, unfortunately, you can't uh, you can't partake in that difficulty level on your main file. You have to start, like, a totally brand new game. So... Oh, I got it! Thank fucking Christ. Yeah, look at that. Beating that ass. 
so it sounds like a really fun thing, but it's not something that I'm going to do for quite a long time. Okay, I do want to try something, though. I had a comment that said maybe when he starts doing this fire thing, we can actually quell that with an ice arrow? Which I'm not sure about, because Lionels are supposed to be resistant to elemental arrows. What is he doing? But it might be worth a try, at least. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> that answers that question. Okay. Ugh. I still have no idea how to, like, properly do a... Hey, you see, I could have mounted him there, too. Even though he wasn't stunned. It's so inconsistent. I don't understand the rules, guys. <laughs> but yeah, like, these Lynels that have the... The spears like this guy. Okay, see, like, I feel like I dodged that one, but I didn't get a flurry rush for it. And it's really hard to do in the first place because they're so freaking big. Okay. <laughs> Fuck that. That's really annoying. <laughs> the range on that thing. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, okay, we can't have that. Stop it. Stop what you're doing right now. Put that shit away. Dude, stop it. Oh my fucking god. Okay, this could get real bad real quick if he starts using that shit on me. Uh... No, 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 Link, stop! Jesus Christ, just rolling along the ground like that does, like, more damage than a single regular hit from a Lionel. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Yeah, this dude's upset. He's getting more vicious the closer he gets to death. Oh shit, oh shit! What just happened? What'd he do? Dude, did he just teleport away? Oh, I almost had him. Come back. There he is. What the fuck was that? I don't know if that was some kind of technique or if he got too far away from his quote unquote zone and like just he had to go back there because that's how the game's programmed. That was really weird. I've never seen some shit like that, guys. See, I feel like that was a headshot, and that didn't do shit to stun him either. <laughs> oh. That one was a little off-center. There he goes. Yeah, guys. So, blue was the... Mm, the second tier up of Lionel, I think. And they're very trivial at this point, also. Ooh, a new mighty Lionel Spear. That's the worst picture of all time, but it counts. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, this does 20 with critical hit. The weight and cutting edge of this Lionel Mate Spear have both been enhanced. It's immensely heavy for a Hylian, but a Lionel could, can cleave through rock with a single swing. I like it, guys. Ooh, look at all them shock arrows. Alright. What do we want to drop for this bad boy? Uh, uh, I guess we should just get rid of this Royal Claymore. We've used up a lot of it on that fight, so... Yeah, we're good now. Alright. Back to the mission at hand. We only wasted ten minutes on that. Did he seriously not drop a bow? Hold on. He didn't drop a bow or a shield. That doesn't seem right to me. Look how charred the grass is from all his flame breath attacks. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. So they're not guaranteed to drop every weapon type. I think that's happened every time up until now. But apparently it's not a guarantee. Very interesting. Hello. Animal life. I'm not here to murder you. I promise. Go about your life. Do your animal things. 
I just want to farm a Moblin Club. Okay. Eh. You can kill these guys with a single headshot, but you have to land the headshot. Which will honestly be good practice for me, I guess. Because I'm still not great with the bow. <laughs> There's a spiked Moblin Club. Okay. We gotta make room for it, though. I'm hoping this will count, guys, because I don't think the game's even going to drop a regular Moblin Club for me anymore. And if that's the case, then that's honestly pretty shitty that that quest is set up that way. Hmm. Alright, Meteor Rod. Time for you to go. I haven't really been using you lately. I don't have anything against you. I just don't really want you anymore. I want you less than I want everything else. <laughs> Let me just blow this up. Yep. Okay. So, time to go back to Hateno. Okay, we have sat by the fire until noon. This kid should be out and about somewhere in this area here. Come here, kid. Are you the one? If you find a mobile club, please let me see it. That would be so cool. God damn it. God damn it, guys. The Spike Moblin Club doesn't count. Urgh, I'm so mad. Not only did I drop my meteor rod for nothing, but now I'm probably never going to be able to finish this quest because where the hell am I going to find a regular ass Moblin Club? Oh, that's just the worst, guys. That really is the worst. Okay, well, now we have that question answered. And while we're here, I am going to see if we can dye our, uh, our Mebo bonus clothes. I don't think we'll be able to, but I gotta know for sure. Yes, yes. Okay, get ready, because we're going to dye all the clothes you're wearing at once. Choose your dye color, or go ahead and change clothes. Oh, we can't dye those clothes. It's a fabric thing. Want to change? <laughs> yep, that answers that. Lots of fail going on, guys. I confess myself disappointed. But, you know what? While we're here, let's try some other things, like our ancient armor. And the diamond circlet. I kind of doubt we can do this as well. But, let's try. Choose a color. Oh, wow. This actually works. Look at that. But it really only works on the underclothes. Hmm. So we would probably want to pick something that kind of complements the orange. That really is a cool effect. I, I didn't really notice that until now, but it's like orange lava flowing through the armor. Alright, I have no sense of style, though. Um, actually, black looks pretty okay with that. White. Yellow. Red. And blue. I mean, orange would probably be the best, but a lot of the other clothes I have are already orange. I, I don't really care about that, though. I, I like orange. You know what? We're going to do it, because I, I honestly think that looks the best, so. Okay, what to use? What to use? Mighty Thistle. Increases attack power. Coarser Bee Honey. This is a game unto itself. I've been told to hold on to my Amber, since we're going to be going to the Gerudo region sometime. Key eyeballs. Um, we can probably part with some of these. And if we split up the items that we use, then nothing gets hit particularly hard. So let's do like three key eyeballs, one coarser bee honey, and one endurance room. Sure. Nice. That looks pretty okay. I still hate the way the top looks, but nothing I can do about that. <laughs> now we're going to see if we can dye the diamond circlet, which doesn't make any sense at all, but it's my own curiosity. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Wish I could skip a lot of this dialogue. Whoops. That's not what I needed to do. Change clothes. So, let's just take this stuff off. 
Remove, remove, remove. And we're just the diamond circlets. We can't dye those clothes. Okay, I figured. But we can probably dye our snow quill stuff. And the rubber stuff. And the desert bow stuff. So we gotta do all that. And I guess we never tried on the flame breaker suit either. We got a, we got a lot of stuff to die, actually, guys. Okay. So let's see what this stuff looks like. Blue, purple. Ooh, that looks pretty good, guys. I like that peach color a lot. Crimson, green, red, yellow. A lot of these look good, honestly. Like none of them are bad, really. Even the brown looks okay because it's just such a good design in the first place. The gray is what it is already. We've got orange, navy, white, and black. I think we should go with white, honestly. Which makes sense because we're going to be in a snowy area, so we'll blend in. We'll have camouflage, guys. <laughs> and it just looks neat. Ooh, we can use Silent Princess for that. We can use milk. We can use diamond. Yeah, let's, let's use some diamond to dye our clothes, guys. This stuff is actually, um, a lot of this stuff is stuff that you wouldn't really want to use for this purpose. We're just going to use Silent Princess. Because I know that's Zelda's favorite flower and everything, but we always know where to get more of them, so that's okay. I'm not going to skip this animation either, because it's really funny. <laughs> It makes me laugh, guys. It makes me giggle. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. You're looking very chick, he says. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, we've got a bunch of others to look at, too. I wasn't really planning on this being the clothes dyeing video, but I guess that's what it's going to be. And, you know, honestly, we could mix and match. But that seems like a lot of work, and I don't know if it would really come out all that great anyway. Let's just go in order here. We'll look at the Desert Vo stuff next. Which we still have to get upgraded. God damn it. What do I need for that? I've already forgotten. I'll have to look that back up. Okay. Choose a color. Mm, again, it's really just the underclothes. That ain't bad. That light yellow. That would also blend in with the desert very well. I do just like to go through and kind of look at all of them, you know? Ooh, the red looks good, too, on that. Mm. Oh, and the yellow. Ooh, it looks golden. That might be the one, guys. A lot of these look really good. Oh, man. It does change, like, uh, some of the inner colors on the actual armor plates as well. Hmm. It's not changing the color of the diamonds on the knee pads, though. You guys see that? I wish those would change. Damn, a lot of these are good. I, I like the yellow a lot. It's a lot of yellow, but man, it, it works. You know, it comes together, in my opinion. I think I'm going to go with that. We don't have any other yellow clothes, so let's do this. We can use bananas. We can use bird eggs to make yellow. Okay, I guess we're cracking them open and using the egg yolk. <laughs> Not a lot of items we can use for this, guys. Um, a lot of them are somewhat rare. Okay. <sighs> Mighty bananas are such a good item. Fuck. Okay, we're going to have to take one from everything to lessen the impact on all of the things. Actually, bird eggs are probably a good bet. I don't really care about those all that much. We'll use, like, three of them. And then we'll use one electric key swing. I think that'll be okay. I probably should have used all bird eggs, honestly. I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> I love that puff of smoke, like it's like actually magic happening. <laughs> yeah, what a wonderful tone that is. I almost look naked. <laughs> like it's just blending into my skin. I'm all about that camo, guys. When we're out in the desert, <laughs> we're like a Los Alfos. Nobody will be able to see us as long as we don't move. Okay. Now we need to look at the rubber suits.
This one's honestly pretty plain, so this could look really good if they do a good job with the way it fills in. Nope, they didn't. Again, it's just the underclothes. <laughs> it doesn't really cover the extremities. Yeah, a lot of this doesn't really look that great. I'm not huge on the design of this thing overall. Hmm. That's not bad. Gray. It's very subdued. But it does kind of blend in with the rest of it in a nice way. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. I'm not overly excited about it, but I want all my clothes to be dyed. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have a lot of stuff we can use for gray. Looks like it's mostly monster parts. And regular ass key swings. And our ancient parts. <laughs> no. We'll use... Let's just use all key swings. They're not insanely useful, as far as I know. And at this point, I am going to skip this. <laughs> I changed my mind, guys. After we've seen it three times in this video, we don't need to see it a fourth time. And now I think we've just got one more set to look at. The Flame Breaker Armor. One of my favorites. Not from a visual standpoint, but from a usefulness standpoint and the region that it allows me to inhabit. I love Flame Breaker armor. And I think that's really the last one. At some point we might go back and just change some of the stuff we already have. Like we've been using this pink soldier armor for a while. I don't know. Actually, if anything, I might change the Shika outfit. I like what we have. I just, I like to mix it up every now and then too, you know? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, what can we make this look like? Honestly, red's like kind of already the best for this. <laughs> so I don't know if it makes sense to go with anything else. Mm, white. Yeah. It just seems appropriate to have it red. Actually, okay, I need to check this. If I back out of here... I mean, it's already red, right? So, I don't think choosing the red in here actually makes any significant changes to it. That would be a waste of money. Unless we made it crimson, which is a little bit darker. But otherwise, it's kind of like, that's a waste of money. What's the point of that? We could make this pink as well. That's actually not too bad looking. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's make it peach. We've got wild berries. Radishes. I'm not using them radishes. Rock salt. That's the one. I don't think we need all that rock salt. <laughs> yeah. You look dashing. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Everything is dyed and pimped out. I actually, uh, I like that. The pink looks pretty good on that. The red is probably more appropriate overall, but, eh. They're both good. If only we could have, like, multiple sets and just swap them out at will. You know, whenever the mood struck us to have something a little different. So I did have a suggestion in the comments to use our teleportation spot right outside our home. Because, yeah, we do have a shrine right there. But it's kind of a pain in the ass to run back over here when we want to. So, because I don't have a better idea for now, I'm going to take that suggestion. And I'm going to drop this right here. I also just want to see how this works. So, bam, we just hit place. And there it is. Now, if we run over here and check our map, it shows up nice and big right there on the map. Okay. And then I'm guessing that if I want to replace it, I don't have to do any bullshit like go back and pick it back up, right? I just come back in here... Yep, and we can replace it wherever we are. That's pretty neat, guys. So when when I come up with like a better place for it, we'll move it. <laughs> if I think of one, or if you guys have a better suggestion, I'm all ears. But for now, that's where it's going to sit. It's right in front of my home. Now, there's one more thing I want to do before we wrap up this little session here. I'm going to go make a little bit of cash. And then we're going to go buy that last fairy that we've been putting off for quite a while. Because I... Don't know if that's going to let us get another level of upgrades for our clothes. But if it does, then I want that. Very much so. 
So, let's head to the general shop. We're gonna have to figure out what to sell. Hi, Pruce. Yeah. Hey! So, what can I do for you? I have things to sell. Alright, let's take a look here. We do have a lot of food. We could probably make some decent money selling that. Like, oh, I never found the Rito lady that wants to buy my baked apples. I gotta do that, too. I don't know where she was. I looked all over that damn place, guys. I never found her. I'm actually out of cooked meats. Uh, I should probably do that off camera, honestly. I should probably go cook all my apples and meats in Goron Mountain. That would be the smartest play, honestly. I might do that off camera, but you know what? We can make, like, we can make 130 rupees real quick. Just off the stuff we have here. Like the Cobblin Fangs, we don't need 111 of those. Let's sell... Even just 30 of them should be more than enough. Yep, 240 rupees. Perfect. Because we only needed a thousand for that fairy, so... Yeah, we're good. Unless... Are these Sun Shrooms? Those are Endura Shrooms, aren't they? Yep. You've got that. Rice. Hearty Truffles. Oh man, hearty truffles are good. Truffles and milk. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna buy all this stuff real quick. <laughs> we should have enough. Oh. Just barely, guys. <laughs> We're gonna be broke as a joke, but we can cover our expenses. Okay, now I have to remember where that fairy was. Something about... Lake of the Horse God. I don't know if there was a spot really close to it, though. It's down in this area somewhere. I really should have marked it. Did I mark it? I don't know why I don't do smart things like that. Tuft Mountain. It's around here. It's right around here. Because we were on Tuft Mountain when we were exploring this area. Hmm. You guys are probably looking at it right now and screaming at me. That's okay. <laughs> I did mark it, guys. I totally, totally marked it. I just didn't know that I had marked it. And I thought I thought it was way over here to the east for some reason, but it's actually more centralized. So it looks like the closest we can get is this shrine right here. So here we go. Okay, we got our sexy clothes, we got our pin ready to go. Actually, there's a stable right freaking here, so maybe it would be smart to just take out a pony and try and ride there. Oh, is this the place with the obstacle course? It is, yeah. I forgot about this place. Yeah. Hello, Padok. Some of the names in this game, guys. I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Yes, give me a pony. Maybe sometime soon I'll have to take out Asteroid as well just to get him some exercise. Yep. Honest to God, there's really no reason to ever use him anymore, but... <laughs> I kind of miss him, you know? I really, really like the fact that we could actually take him to get, you know, unique uh, saddles and bridles and whatnot. Get him a little pimped out. I think it really sucks that opponent can't do that, and this place is... A lot closer than I thought. There was really no need. Although, I think we want to go to that bridge over there. Let's actually go back around. I think that's the way you're supposed to go. And since it's raining, climbing's going to be a pain in the nuts. So, we'll take the scenic route, guys. Why not? I'm not in any rush. Why rush? We're in the beautiful land of Hyrule. Now... I don't know how this works. I think that if I stay on a beaten path like this, Epona's supposed to just... Yeah, she steers herself. Check that out, guys. I'm not touching the left stick at all right now. I am going to hold left here so that maybe... Okay. Yeah, I just... I nudged left, hoping to just steer her on this path, and instead she ran into the mountain. <laughs> so it's not a perfect system. But, it seems like she is smart enough to just kind of do her own thing, go this way. Which is pretty great. We can let the horse do the work, we can just spur her on, and we can just enjoy the view. Look at the sights. 
I wonder if she would ever do anything dumb, like just run right off a bridge or something. <laughs> Not sure, honestly. Hello, horse god. I brought the lord of all horses here. Does that appease you? Will you give me a discount? Since I brought you this legendary, beautiful steed. I doubt that's a thing. Well, you're back. I mean, you've come back, have you? Now, you have rupees for me, right? Hand them over quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need a thousand rupees. They're so pushy, guys. I'm doing them a huge favor. And they're just like, hand them over now. Brr. Thank you. You are too kind. I am revived. Ah, there's nails. Holy God, you are not a fairy. Did you trick me? Ho, ho, ho. At last, free of that tiny butt after so long. If my arms were corporeal, they'd have cramped for sure. <laughs> I am really terrified right now, guys. And you're the one who set me free, are you not? I am. Please don't eat me. My name is Melania. I am the god who watches over the horses in this world. I suppose you deserve a reward for setting me free. What shall I do? Ah, I was right. She is going to eat me, guys. <laughs> shall I eat you? Ha ha ha. I only jest. If a horse you love passes away from some sort of tragic, fatal accident, it is within my power to revive that horse. Yeah, but not Comet, because I'd never actually owned Comet. <laughs> However, if I detect vile intent behind the death of your horse, you will suffer my wrath. Oh, what does that mean? I only jest. Let me see. Hmm, I see you're good with horses. All seems to be well. Yeah, I've only stabbed my horse once or twice, and it was totally by accident, okay? The friendship you establish with a horse really is extraordinary. Remember that such a friendship is a two-way road. Horses care for you as much as you do for them. Alright. Not sure that was worth the money, because I don't think she's going to do anything for our clothing. That is a hell of a design, though. <laughs> it's you again. Why have you sought me out? Surely no ill has fallen your beloved faithful steeds. Let me see. Hmm, I see you're good with horses. Okay. Yep, so it's good to have that power, I guess, if anything were to happen. I'm not sure if Epona can die. I mean, probably. I don't know for sure. I also noticed, guys, uh... The way this fairy's clothing looked, it kind of reminded me of the design of the stables. I think that was a deliberate thing. She's supposed to look like the stables that are built everywhere. They have the same kind of like patchwork texturing thing going on. So that's cool. A little consistency there. Alright, well that's done. At this point, guys, I am going to wrap up this session. I think I'm going to go to Death Mountain and do some cooking off camera. Just get all my meats and apples cooked up. And when we come back, we'll probably be at Rito Village. I'm going to try and find that lady to buy all my apples and see how much money we can get from her. And once that's done, we will probably then head to Heber Mountain and begin our exploration up there. We've been putting it off for far too long, and it is time. But, for now, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I'll see you guys when we come back. Have a good one.